Some places are, are lucky because they, they, their job is they have to make 20 or 50 of the same thing. We have to make 20 or 50 of the same kind of thing, but they all have to look different, such as these shooting bags that we've done. Mm. And this is, you know, part of being a prop house is just being able to, to make some really wonderful things that look good and that are also going to be look good on camera and are also going to be very safe for all the actors to use. The fascinating thing about props is that it is not enough to have a prop that is a great baseball glove that your grandfather could have used in the 1940s. At a prop house, we have to have that, a glove that looks like it's been around 70 years. Then we also have to remake it to look like a new glove from the 1940s. Oh, right. So we'll carry two kinds of merchandise, something that shows its age and something that looks like it's brand new. Do you have a, a workshop where people create... We do. We have a really fantastic workshop that does a lot of, lot of great props, and we'll look at some of the stuff that they do. Okay. I know that sometimes a prop master on set will create some props. How often are you asked to help out in that process? We're daily making props for films or, or making something new or, or making something in a different way so that it could be used better for the show. Um, we're really best known for our custom work on the things that we make. We're excellent with leather work. Um, if you look around here, you'll see a lot of the other things that we work on. We do a lot with uh, drum kits, uh, making vintage drum kits. We do a lot of repairs of vintage items. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what would be the most unusual thing we ever made. Oh, it would be the show we just did for an HBO project called Hel Hemingway and... Ooh, I forget what the last name is. But uh, we had to do 40 ski poles for Finnish soldiers in I think 1930s or 1940s. So we had to custom make all of those. Oh, wow. So you, every once in a while you'll have an order come in and you just go, what? <laughs> what do they want and when do they want it? Often like the that bulk sort of amount, you know, where it's like 40 or we have 30 officers. If it's, mili if it's military it is, more often than not it might just be that one unique item mm -hmm. that we need to make. You know, maybe they need a special suitcase, for, it, for the actress to have or the actor to have it. Uh, but more often than not, it'll be uh, something we've never done before. <laughs> what is your biggest, biggest challenge, or what do you see the biggest challenge being for um, a prop house moving into the future? I think really keeping up a, a good quality of stock and then being able to, to employ the artisans to follow that forward, because our, our prop makers are truly artisans. This is kind of fun what you're looking at right now. This is for the movie Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. And we are making uh, bedrolls for Zoops. This is gonna be shipped to uh, Louisiana uh, this Friday and then they'll have it for a couple weeks and hopefully it'll come back. Mm. Uh -huh. And down here, you can see that they're making some general belts. We hand make those. Prop houses, over the past 15 years, we've seen a real change in the way that the business is. Mm -hmm. um, I think you just really have to be so conscious of what the medium is like and what it's looking for visually and being able to supply those things. I mean, we're very conscious of what our clients want to see, um, of what their their clients want to see too, and then creating those things. Uh, my husband, Jim, who does all of our buying, has a great feel for popular culture. So he's all the time finding things and going, you know, this is going to be really big at one point. We should lay this stuff into stock. Right.